Hi everyone, welcome to the Dietary Restriction Kitchen. I'm Nat Ryan. Today we're going to tackle another basic um, recipe and that is to make homemade oat milk. And the reason why would you do that instead of just buying some oat milk? Well, uh, most of the oat milk on the market is not certified to be gluten-free. Um, oats by their very nature, by the way, are gluten-free, but because they're stored and transported and processed normally in the same places that they do for wheat and barley and rye, there's a real um, risk of cross-contamination. And so therefore, most of the oat products you see in the store are not gluten-free. And so if you have to be gluten-free, and then it's good idea to make your own oat milk and it's really it's dead simple so let's get started so the first thing you're going to need to start out with is with some gluten-free oats you need a half of a cup put it inside of a food processor or blender two cups of water so put that in the blender or food processor and you're going to need a pinch of salt just a little pinch i know i'm having difficulties getting it out there but there you go pinch of salt and then what you're gonna do is put your cover on and you're gonna blend it on high speed for 35 to 45 seconds. Now you take a bowl, put your a cover over that, and that cover is a uh, thin towel or an old t-shirt piece. Pour the um, oat milk concoction into that bowl over top of the, of the cloth. Then you're gonna take the four corners together and then lift it all up and let it drain out. You can actually press it if you like. Yeah, so after you've strained your oat milk, you, you're gonna have this cloth full of old oats, like, well, messy oats, because they're gonna look like this. It's kind of gross looking. You could throw that out, recycle it if you like, or you can do like I do and save them and put that in muffins. And then you're not wasting anything. So what you're gonna do is take a container with a tight fitting lid, you're gonna pour your oat milk into it and just pour it all in and then you're gonna put, get a cover on it and you know, something that you can pour out very easily. I use this, uh, you know, Shakeology container, but you use whatever container you like, as long as it has a tight fitting lid. When you make your oat milk, keep it in the fridge in a sealed container and if you put it far back in the fridge, it'll last about five to seven days. If it smells sour, then it's probably going off and you need to make another batch. I love to use it in all kinds of baking and I really like it in my tea too. Thanks for watching. See you again at the Dietary Restriction Kitchen. Until next time, I'm Nat Ryan. If you like this video, then click the like button below. If you like to keep alive the vibe, then hit the subscribe. Thanks so much for watching Dietary Restriction Kitchen. Bye for now.